Well, right, evening folks, how are we doing? All right, we've got a video here that's well overdue, well overdue. Um, now what it is, is Orcsbeam have kindly sent me some LED headlight kits to um, to test and review. Um, and Susie from Orcsbeam has been very, very patient because I've had them a long time now and I've not uh, had a chance to do the, do the test. So thank you, Susie. For being so patient with me um but yeah let's get on and have a look at these bulbs right, so i've had these for quite a while and these are supposed to be pretty good we've got um two different sets here we've got two different sets here as you can see we've got um normal standard led um type with the with the separate LEDs and we've got the cob type ones with a single cob type LED in it and you can see both have got cooling fans on the back to keep them cool with heat sinks on all well, looks very good quality well packaged and decent cabling um, looks good and here we've got an eBay special set which I already tried a long time ago in in a loader and they were rubbish but we're gonna we're gonna try them as well to see what um you know to compare the compare the different types so what we'll do first is we'll pop the um i've got the cows of comfort uh, company as you can possibly not see first job is we will pop the bonnet uh, like so right the first test will be with i've got me um I've got my camera set up here so that um, well, you can see that or not, probably not. I've got light here but it's not great. Um, so that we can, I've got a fixed point to test each different uh, light. Right, this will so. be um, normal halogen headlights with the LED uh, spotlight I've got on the front as well. So we'll get that, that's going to be the base test. Right, so first job quickly will be to, um, no I don't need to take the battery off, this here is the fuse for the, for my LED light bar there, so we'll just do another quick test, this will now just be, this will now just be the halogen, there you go, see that's pretty poor now. That is just the halogen. That's just the halogen um, headlight, uh, main beam on this. It's got xenon dipped headlights, um, but uh, standard halogen main beam. There you go. See, that's pretty poor now. Right, so to get to the bulbs on these. Uh, you take the headlights out. It's not as bad a job as it sounds. It's actually quite an easy job, but it's made harder by the fact I've got this plastic A bar on. So I've got to, because the grill has to come off first. So, a bit of a pain. I have to um, whip the A bar off to get to the, to get to the, so I can get the grill off. Oh, that's fucking good, wouldn't it? Good bloody start. God knows where that went. Somewhere, isn't it? And then we can um, do a test with these bulbs. Bit of a fart, but um, can't be out, can it? I'll play it so put them on the deck. So yeah, um, very good of Orcs being, Susie Orcs being to be so patient with me. Oh, bloody hell. Getting on very well here, am I? 
Give me a little bit of push for time, so I'm sort of rushing a little bit. I think they're fairly easily retrievable. We'll find out, won't we, I'm sure. In case you're wondering, this is a 3 litre V6 twin turbo diesel in here. Quite a fair lump. Never such a good motor. Produces 240 horse standard in this version. Um, but see that little thing down there, that's the chip. Which should give it um, about 290 horse that's what the chip should give it so um, despite the fact that it weighs an absolute ton it's quite um, it is quite rapid for its size for its size and weight But it's not very economical. I get about 24, 25 miles to the gallon out of it. Partly due to its um, the engine, but also to the blooming light weight it lugs around. Like I say, such a such a um, bloody lump it does take some lifting around. Yeah, Rich can't get down to the thing now. <laughs> Blocked you. Hey. Blocked you. Yeah. I even take everything off. It's a, that's the only trouble with this bar on because you have to take the grill out to get the lights out. Oh. But um, there's normally, if you ain't got to take this off, it's a 10 second job. And I ain't got my little ratchet spanner with me. Makes it a bit more of a job. 13. One job could probably. No, I won't get that in it. Right? Be quicker to put them back in, yeah. Yeah. Well, this will, this will sit here if you want. Yeah. So I'll just wriggle this in. Right, there we go, the, that has been released, so we can lay that there now. Right, now the grill, I don't like doing it, but it does just pop off, like so. Right, there's that. Hopefully that little bolt's on there as well. Little clips at the top, and then, there you go, she's off. Now oh, there you go. Found me bolts. Right. We can lay that there. Right. Now the clever bit. Lift these two tabs. Like so. A little bit fiddly, but they do and should just come out. It is a quite a good idea. There you go, like that. Same with this side. Right, we're out. 
Now, that's where the main beam is in here. Give myself. Right. First job we will go with the eBay specials. See how they go on with them. Yeah, two different types. Alright. You got cob type LED. Yeah. And you got the individual type LED. And these are eBay specials, these ones. Oh, so you're gonna do three different Yeah, I know these are crap because I tried them in the loader at John's and they were crap, like candles in the wind. Mm. But um good, good lighting system, isn't it? Yeah. Just what you want, isn't it? <laughs> Right, try that there, and we're good for a test. Oh, what your one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the eBay well, that's LEDs. The eBay LEDs. They line up the near, the near a bit, don't they? But that's about it. Yeah. You don't get um, anywhere up the drive with it. Okay. They're just yeah, just sat in there at the minute. Like I say, this one. yeah. Right now we'll try the cob type ones. Let's see what these are like. And I should just try them. Just plug them in, and we'll see if they work. Type ones, we'll see what they're like. Give it a flick. Ah, oh. considerably better than the eBay ones. We have daylight. Considerably, considerably better. Better than the halogen ones as well, I'd say. Yeah, a lot better than the halogen ones. Very interesting. Yeah. Right, so now we'll try the standard LED ones. See what these are like. Got it. 
Right, now these are the standard LED ones. We'll see what these are like. No difference. Or very hard to see. Be interested to see what it's like on the camera flicking between the two, but much, yeah, much, much better than standard adage and all the eBay ones. So, yeah, my verdict with that is go to Walks Beam. If you want to upgrade your LED light, your, your headlights, go to Walks Beam and get some LED ones because they are good. Well worth the money. So, I think I'll leave these ones in. And, um, right, this is Richard's car, which is uh, a Ford S Max Branners. And that comes with LED lights. Um, all LED lights all built in so that's his dip beam there and there you go, that's his full beam which is bloody good and that's like I say that's his S Max there which is uh, got full LED lights on it and that's bloody good that is right so we'll now got the um, LED spotlight on mine on as well as well as the Cree LED headlight bulbs and that's um, that's what that produces now so i would be interested to see what that's like on the road and uh, yeah jobs are good and go and buy some for yourself see you later Look at the li in link in the description. That'll be straight to Orcs Beam's site. And I'll see you in the next vid. Bye bye.